whenever the new year comes about, I always feel the motivation and the craving for change and switch up. It feels like it's a chance for a refresh to think about kind of what's bugging you and how can you change it. Something that constantly niggles me, it's always there at the back of my mind, and I'm exposing myself here, is the clutter in my home. How I've kind of abandoned any organization system in my cupboards, in my closets. I like to keep things on the surface, nice and clean and clear. Honestly, clutter can have more of an effect on you than you even know. Living, working in a cluttered space, around a cluttered space, can actually bring your mood down. And so I've decided to dedicate two days to sort it all out because yeah, Yes, I think this is going to take two days and you guys are coming along with me. Something I'm going to take a stab at today which has been on my mind bugging me for days is the clutter that is in my wardrobe. I actually did a little clean out I think a couple months ago now but honestly I don't think I was savage enough. I want to be that person who's like one thing comes in one thing goes out. For the new year I love bringing in some staple pieces that I know I'm gonna get tons of use out of throughout the year. Things that I feel like really are my style and so I'm so excited. Naked are one of my favorite clothing brands at the minute. I feel like they just so fit my style. I never go on that website and don't find things I love instantly. Their pieces are trendy, they're cute. Naked have actually provided you guys with an amazing discount code. My discount code is Becca Watson. New customers can get 30% off everything from their website. That's actually including sale as well. And then for returning customers, you can still use my code for 15% off everything as well. That is also only valid for a week from the date I'm posting this video and just something to note is new customers must create an account and log in for the code to actually work they rarely do discount codes this good so you don't want to sleep on this so let's get into oh my goodness let's get into the pieces i have picked today i have to start with the jumper i'm wearing for those of you who don't know i have recently turned blonde i have always been like Blondes look so good in olive greens, in khaki colors. The thing that I love about it are how amazing are these sleeves. It's just something that makes it a little bit different to like a classic sweater. It also is the perfect length on me. It looks so good with jeans. You can wear this with a skirt. It is still cold here in the UK. And pieces like this I have been wearing every day. Now, what I imagine stunning this with is something I believe everybody needs in their wardrobe and that is a pair of black high-waisted straight leg jeans. I also love how these have the frayed bottom. Also for my short, more petite girlies out there, this length, so good. I am 5'3". I hate when I buy jeans that are meant to be above the ankle, but they just sit really long on me and it doesn't give like the same look. It kind of makes me look shorter. This. Okay, I wore this to a musical the other night. I just felt so confident in this. This is what I mean by like a piece that kind of elevates my style. And it is a classic long black knitted dress. This back is so nice. I really like the shape of it, how it comes into a V. It'd chuck a big chunky oversized jacket over this. And I've been loving pairing this with some knee high booties, which, oh my God. Ooh, I love these so, so much. I also wanted a pair that had like a really thin, almost like stiletto heel and then a different shape on the front. They also have so many different boots similar to this. And then see how I mentioned chucking a big chunky jacket over the top? I have been on the hunt for a gorgeous oversized gray coat and I have found the perfect one. This is the perfect color. The material is really nice. This keeps you so warm and it looks so elegant. But for me, what I love about these coats is how versatile they are. I literally will chuck them on top of athleisure. I will chuck them on top of a fancy dress. I just feel like you cannot go wrong with having one of these in your wardrobe. Okay, let's talk about this set. Naked just do blazers incredibly well. And I feel like if you're someone who is trying to find the perfect basic blazer, try Naked. I thought I might as well get the trousers as well for this. And this color just looks so classic. I think it'll be a perfect little set um, going into spring as well, like for transitional weather when it's still chilly, but you want to bring in like those lighter colors. I noticed the other day I don't have like a slim fit roll neck top in my wardrobe, but I have quite a few um, like turtleneck sweaters, which I love and wear that style all the time. So I thought it was time to get a little turtleneck 
top. The quality of this is really lovely. It's really soft. Look how cute this little hat is. I've realized like I love wearing gray, especially like pairing this little hat with my new gray coat. I wanted a hat that like didn't have any branding on it, didn't have a logo or anything. Ah, it's so cute. I love it. And then last of all, listen, I had to go for another long sleeve dress. I just think this is how I envision I want my style to be. And again, it's backless, which I think just adds a little something something. This one is a little bit longer than the other. I obviously didn't want to get two dresses in black and I've just been wearing so much black recently. So we opted for another very neutral color. I definitely am into my neutrals right now. But there we go. Those are some of my new additions to my wardrobe. Remember, you can use my discount Becca Watson. Thank you so much, Naked, for sponsoring this part of the video. Okay, so this is how seriously I'm taking this because I am fed up with my closet and like never having time or space to put clothes away. So I found these pretty big, they're like storage boxes, but I like how they slide out like this, like a drawer. I found these in Muji. I'm thinking I'm gonna, well, hopefully they fit in my wardrobe. Both Will and I share the one wardrobe and honestly there's just not enough space so plan of action i literally just got home now i went all the way into like central london to find those i had to awkwardly try get them in an uber and then get them up my lift i want to go through all my clothes and be a lot more strict with myself about <laughs> about like what I want to keep, what I really don't need, put stuff that I do not use regularly into suitcases because we store our suitcases like in this closet here. Suitcases take up so much room and I think it's useful to like try use them for storage if you can. And then I'm gonna put in my new little plastic drawers and get it to a place where I'm just happy with it and it's easy to use and I don't have laundry all over my floor like most of the time because it has honestly reached the point where our room is like clean maybe 10% of the time which is not okay. Will works in that room as well because he works from home and I think it's just like not a nice room to spend time in. Okay so let's begin. I'm sorry that the next <laughs> bit of footage you're gonna see like this is nothing too exciting but hopefully it motivates you to maybe do a little wardrobe clear out it is the start of the year it's perfect time um so i literally just started by pulling everything out and organizing it into piles what i wanted to keep what i wanted to get rid of and then also like what could go into storage that i'm not gonna wear till summer this always is an opportunity for me to really think like what clothes do I wanna part with, what clothes don't fit me, still have the tag on because I have never worn them and I need to be real with myself, am I ever gonna wear them? I love the idea of like a minimal capsule wardrobe. I always really look up to people who have them. I'm just trying to build a collection of like really strong staples that I get a lot of wear out of and are high quality. So I got some new fresh plants from Leaf Envy. Really cute little website, I had never shopped from them before. Um, they just sell like a bunch of house plants. I think they probably do outdoor ones as well, but they deliver to your homes, really easy. I was thinking what is something that would make my home more cozy and just feel more homely. And I definitely love when I visit someone's home and there's just loads of green. I think there's actually like a psychological thing behind having indoor plants just in terms of helping to improve your mood and let's face it it makes your home look a little bit prettier so and then i also got this really simple little storage cabinet off of amazon this was only like 50 pounds it's definitely not the prettiest it's nothing exciting but i wanted something with actual drawers that i could put inside the cupboard in my hallway good morning it is the next day i don't know why i thought i would be able to do my whole home yesterday. I was doing my wardrobe until 10 p.m. last night. So, I mean, you can still see like that my bedroom isn't done, but my wardrobe is. Ah. It's not particularly stunning to look at. Oh my gosh, this just makes me feel so, so much better knowing like my jumpers are here, my tops are here, my jeans are here. These are really handy. 
these are, I think I got these from Ikea, just these, I mean you can buy these anywhere. I put in like hoodies and stuff up here, joggers. The situation in my flat is that I'm not lacking places for storage. I think we're actually really lucky considering like other flats I looked at um, here in London had like one cupboard or like one wardrobe for the whole space. I just think like the actual cupboards are really difficult to work with because there's like tons of height up here but I don't know how to utilize it without putting like a shelf in. And we are renting so I obviously can't like be doing some work, <laughs> like serious DIY. But anyway, I think this works for now and I have managed to get all my clothes in here so I'm happy. And then reorganized this dresser here so that like I just got rid of like so much underwear and socks and stuff. Anyway, I have another day at home like all alone. Will's out with friends today so it's just like the perfect day to get this all done. I am feeling kind of excited. I'm like in the mood. This morning have just been finishing up like all the suitcases. I still had some clothes that needed to be put away, like stuff I'm not wearing, summer clothes. And then here, not too bad, I've got two full bin bags of stuff I want to donate. I'm going to combat this closet. Like this closet is big, there's like height to it. It's a good size, but it's just how do I go about using this space? I don't know. It's done! I'm just happy that it's all in here and like you can see everything you need. We also are only going to be living in this flat. Fingers crossed like, well, we'll move out this year. Hoping for summer but it, I don't know, it might not be. That's also why I don't want to go all out with like a really smart storage solution because our next place will be like a lot more long term. Ah, oh, this just makes me feel so much better. And it's put me in a good mood as well, like the sun is shining. It is such a nice day. And now I feel I'm gonna combat the bathroom. My makeup drawer is really bad, so. As you've seen on a lot of my videos, this is the bathroom that Will and I share. It is very, very tiny, like, this is kind of it. Since day one, storage has been a problem and I don't think we have ever properly tackled it. I hate the shower, caddy, what do you even call them? This little rack I'm hanging from the shower head and it, I don't know, it looks terrible. It doesn't even hold things that well. And then most of the stuff ends up on the floor. There's actually no room to even put in like a cabinet or anything. I got this really cute basket from Zara Home uh, when we moved in and I love it for displaying like my pretty or everyday products but sometimes those two are not the same <laughs> so I find this countertop just is a mess like 90% of the time so I got this similar kind of uh, woven basket vibe to this little basket from Zara Home this is from H&M Home though and I just like it because it has a lid so I can put in like no fence they are absolutely essential, they're not embarrassing, but they're not the prettiest. Like sanitary pads, period products. No offense to Will, but his like shaving foam. My deodorant, like moisturizer, um, even face wash and stuff. So I'm gonna keep that down here, but we're gonna organize this later. However, we're gonna start with tackling the shower behind me. I have bought um, like silver shelves off of Amazon. I'll have everything linked below because quite a few of the things I have gotten for this video are from Amazon. I am completely eyeballing this. <laughs> the thing that always put me off about these was I was like, no way do these actually hold up all your toiletries, but today's the day we're testing it. I feel like I should probably wait a few hours before hanging this, but I am impatient and I want to put this here so I can tell like how much room to leave the other one. Maybe like there. So I got these bottles from Amazon and also these little sticky labels. I don't know if I love the like font and stuff but I'm just being nickety picky. Anyway, it looks a lot better like this. I feel like when your bottles all look cohesive, it just automatically looks less cluttered. Like even if you still have the same amount of stuff.
Okay, so up next is my makeup drawer, which is actually part of my bed, which is really nice. But right now there's like no organization to it. What I hate about that is that, like I forget what I even have down there. I will literally buy something to try and then I guess lost in there, I forget about it. So I just think this is gonna make me feel so much better every day when I get ready, do my makeup and stuff and I look in there. Yeah, let's fix it. I got these really basic little makeup box containers. Okay, I got these um, acrylic containers off of Amazon back. I can't lie, I don't realize how skinny they are. So I need to work out how to use these with my Muji drawers. Here we are. I'm gonna go through each and every cupboard. I got some organizers, some bits. I already have some organizers in a few of the cupboards, but I need more. These are not the prettiest though. Oh well. I actually did a big clear out of my kitchen like a few months ago where I got rid of a bunch of stuff and I organized it into sections. So this wasn't the worst area of my home, but there were still a lot of things that needed to organize. It's crazy how quickly things really quickly become disorganized, especially in a kitchen. I wanna get in the habit of putting things back in the right place to make my life easier in the future, just for it to motivate me to keep it clean and tidy. I love using these cylinder containers just as a slightly different way of displaying everyday bits like oats or pasta. I think it's important to keep the same kind of things close together. This is very obvious, but for example, breakfast stuff on one shelf, baking stuff together, etc. I feel like everybody has a cupboard like this where it's kind of just used to store everything and anything and it's a mess. I bought this. This is a expandable cookware rack. I'm just gonna see if this is gonna work with this. I think it will like putting, um, especially like baking trays. I felt so good now that all of that was done. It honestly took me so long. I was exhausted afterwards, gonna be completely honest, but it was so worth it. It was definitely very much needed. Um, and the fact that I was filming this video helped motivate me a lot. But anyway, we have one last step and that is a digital declutter. Very easy to forget about this one. I'm not a hoarder. I can definitely part ways with things. However, I am a digital hoarder. 
I think since it isn't physical, it isn't clutter, but it can still have the same impact on your mind as physical clutter. So I took some time in the evening just to clear up like my inbox. I unsubscribe to a bunch of emails. I see pop up every day. I never ever look. It's just like spam in my mind, but I never bother unsubscribing. I organized my desktop, deleted old apps, deleted a bunch of photos as well. I have something like 30,000 photos. A tip to get that number down really easily is go through your screenshots. Most likely you do not need these anymore. Instagram, I freshened up my saved page, unsaved some things that are no longer useful. Something else that's kind of important to do is to unfollow accounts that maybe don't make you feel great. And then lastly, just to end off this 2023 declutter organize with me, I made a little vision board. I love making my vision boards in Canva. I know we're like heading towards the end of January now, but I haven't had time to do this yet. And I definitely wanted to make a big like 2023 vision mood board with a bunch of goals on it. Just set it as my desktop wallpaper so that I can see it every day. Thank you so much guys for coming along with me on this video. I hope you feel motivated to clear up your space, clear up that clutter. It'll make you feel so, so much better. Dedicate a day to it and I promise you, you will feel better. Sending you guys all my love and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.